people from mid-class and upper-class families usually have financial, informational and social network support from their families, which enables them to have an easy or even exclusive access to higher education and posh career such as law. This basically explains the reason why nearly 70% of the leading judges and barristers and half of the partners at Magic Circle law firms come from private schools and top universities. It is undeniable that people of this kind are probably competent in the legal profession. Besides, the qualification-based recruitment may be cost-efficient for organizations in the short term. However, in the long-term perspective, the class ceiling may have negative effects on individuals, employers and the society. For individuals, many capable people from poorer backgrounds may lose the opportunity to have an access to higher education or professional trainings, just due to the burden of cost, unavailability of information or lack of social network. This not only disadvantages certain individuals, but also narrows the range of recruitment. For business, the low diversity of recruitment may lead to the low rate of innovation and dynamics, and it may therefore decelerate business growth. This is part of my argument. Thank you.